Hey, hey. So, um, yeah, Bungie released, uh, you know, they got some, they sent out a tweet and saying if it got so many likes, they would, uh, tell us the next season's, uh, month for champions. And it happened, and they released it. And one of the champion mods is going to be Linear Fusion Rifle Unstoppable, which uh, is going to be pretty interesting. And this is about the what I, I think is going to be the best Linear Fusion Rifle to run for Unstoppable next season. And it's the Arbalist. It's, it's one of the least used weapons in the game, and in my opinion, it's one of the strongest and the best. Because... You know, this ability right here. Slugs do massive damage against elemental shields. In the past, it used to not work against match game shields. And um, it, it would just do barely any damage at all to them. Now, in a Grandmaster Nightfall, it'll bust any elemental shield in one, one slug. That's all it takes. And then, on top of that, it has Disruption Break. You know, breaking an enemy's shield uh, gives you... It, makes it, it gives you a 50% damage buff after you break a shield. To kinetic weapons. Well, Arbalist is a kinetic weapon. So, not only does it already do really good damage for a uh, special weapon in general, which I'm about to show, but you can buff that by breaking a shield by 50%. So, I'm over here in uh, this lost sector here on Nessus, Artifact's Edge. It's, um, I, I use this one because the cistern where Carl is that everyone does testing on. The, this boss has the same modifier, so the uh, numbers uh, are going to be the same on the boss. And I picked this boss because, as you notice, he has a shield. So, we can test that out. Just to show the raw numbers of Arbalist right now, like the regular numbers, let's bring the shield. Get a crit. 38,496 pretty good, you know, you might not have any references, oh, got these guys. All of them? Oh, okay. So 38,000. Let's swap to, well, my succession. It's an aggressive frame, highest damage shot per shot with verbal weapon. Let's see how it compares. me 29,000 so a good bit less than Arbalist and this is an aggressive range sniper with portable weapon too let's uh try something else out how about a slug shotgun That shield. 38,942. Arbalist back on. As you notice, 38,000 Arbalist, uh, God Roll first in, last out, does less than a thousand damage more than Arbalist, and that's before you bring the shields. So let's see what the number is like after. Oh, killed him. 57,000 damage in one single shot from a special weapon. That's. And the, that, that's probably, if I'm guessing, a round sleeper simulant right now after the buff. Uh, if not, maybe a little more. Or, a, well, no, no, probably a little less. I think it's about 60,000 on these. But, yeah, you're doing heavy ammo dam damage with that buff. And I didn't combine it with Breach and Clear. Maybe next season we'll have uh, Press of Darkness. Who knows? But you combine that with a debuff. You combine that with a Weapons of Light buff. You're looking at serious damage DPS from this. I actually have this chart I use for DPS. I got it from um, I found it on Reddit. It's I am Dragon. I'll 
leave a link in the description for it. But I use this to get a rough idea of what weapons do what kind of damage. As you can see, aggressive frame, sniper without vorpals doing 9,000 here. Slug shotgun without vorpals doing 12,900. Go down to arbalist. Arbalist on this chart, it's saying a little more per shot. It's not completely accurate. And uh, he tests on the Kali raid, raid boss. And uh, since Kali has like an uh, inflated crit modifier, he has to adjust it manually. And um, also raid bosses have different damage resist depending on weapons compared to these lost sector bosses. So yeah, it, it can do a little more, a little less, but just an average idea. You're looking at slug shotgun, single mag burst DPS at 16,000 arbalist, right about the same. Just as I showed earlier, arbalist does about the same damage as a slug shotgun. It's just, it, you have to reload it. It doesn't have auto loading and you proc disruption break. And it does a hell of a lot more damage than any slug shotgun game. It's going to be god tier for Grimmaster Nightfall next season. Because one of my. One thing I really like to go by for Grandmasters is burst DPS. These champions, you only have a short window while they're stunned to get the buff, the damage buff while they're stunned to take them out. The higher burst damage you have, the higher single shot damage you have, the faster. Uh, that champion's going down, and as you see, Arbalist, that single, that first magazine, burst DPS, is on par with a god roll, burst in, lasts out, slug shotgun. I think that's pretty impressive, and I really hope everyone starts using Arbalist next season. Well, uh, that's all I wanted to say. You guys take it easy, and um, be safe.